Hey, welcome to Steve's Garage, and today we're going to be talking about changing out the accelerator pump cam on a Holley 750. So the problem with my 69 Mustang is it's getting a lot of fuel early. The fuel is cutting off during the accelerator pump, so there's a delay in between the primary and the secondary. What that's causing is slightly lean condition. Um, while the rev, while it's going up in revs, it causes a backfire in the carburetor about halfway through, in, in that point where it's not getting any fuel. So what's happening is it's moving halfway. The fuel shuts off a little bit, and then when we hit here, there's a delay in between the primary and the secondary, uh, the fuel delivery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out the pump cam that I currently have for a different one. So the best way to do it is to, for me, at least I purchased a kit like this from Holly, where it includes all the different accelerator pump shooters, as well as the different color pump cams that you can choose. Uh, in this video, we're just going to do pump cam. Uh, in other ones, we'll go over the how to select the right shooter and how to tune this car so that it runs well. Here's the pump cam lift versus throttle position chart on Holly's website. You can see the colors on the right side. Those correspond to the actual cams themselves. So I'm going to be switching today from the green cam, which is not did not stock come with carburetor, to the pink cam, which is the stock one that came with it. Uh, my reasoning is, one, I want to get back to in the stock settings on the carburetor and two i want to even out the fuel delivery throughout the entire throttle position rotation okay so there's two positions for the screw uh, you can see the screw right now is in position one there's also a position two my plan is to remove it from position one right now by taking that one screw out it sh should be able to just easily remove that cam So, easily remove that screw, pull it out, and set it aside for now. Then I'm going to pull this. You can see the accelerator pump is no longer moving with that. So the cam is free. Just need to get it out. Got it? All right, there you go. There is your accelerator pump cam. So I had the green one in there today. I think I'm going to be swapping it out for one of the pink ones. So one of the things that I find useful when playing this together is to actually take the screw and thread it in the hole that you want before you're putting it together because these are not threaded when you get them. So it'll make it go in easier. So take it out, thread it first. So I'm going to get this in place, try to hold it by hand, and I'm going to push this through to hold it in the correct location, and I'll put the screw in. So, flat side towards us. Okay. You can see it's Line up actually right there. Screw is in. And there we go. So the way it's set up now, you can see. When this moves, you're going to have this accelerator pump move, which is going to draw fuel in. So there should be immediate squirt of fuel. After you get it installed, you want to open it and close it once or twice. Make sure there's no binding. 
you want to make sure that you're getting fuel through your primary and secondary ex accelerator nozzles. And then when that is good, you're good to start it up and take it for a ride. Now you'll actually have two of these pump cams. You'll have a second one over here on the secondary, which drives this secondary accelerator nozzle. So, is that loose? No. You have pump cam here, same thing, position one, position two. Looks like the pink cam is in there. You have this lever here, which as a spring drives the accelerator pump, which takes the fuel and pushes that all through the nozzle. The primary and the secondary are the same. Thank you for joining in today. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll be doing more content as I work in the car over the winter, as well as other projects that are going on in my garage. Thank you.